Previously on Green Matters. This problem of pornography is not just affecting the singles. It, in, it affects the married as well. Then I would ask the question, what are the married people looking for? Uh, we need to have people that we are accountable to, you know. Uh, your wife, I mean my wife for example, uh, needs to know that there's somebody she can run to yes. when uh, she's having challenges with me. Uh, I want to borrow the word that you used earlier on when we talked about, mm -hmm. uh, really, um, about uh, um, uh, when we were at the level of communication, you used the word accountability. Mm -hmm. I think when such a thing happens, yeah. if your heart is well, yeah. you want to open up to someone. Mm. But again, mm. the fear mm. is if I tell this person that mm. this thing happened to me, yeah. will the whole city know about yeah. it? Yeah. So it's the yeah. issue of privacy again. Mm. So mm. they are people genuinely who want to be helped, mm. but they don't know who can help them. Mm because they don't trust anyone. Yeah, yeah. However, we need to strive within ourselves to find responsible and accountable relationships mm. where we can talk mm. about these matters mm. because, mm. man of God, these mm. things happen. Mm. Mm. And if you're not talking about yeah. it, yeah. you are internalizing yeah. them. Yeah. And if you internalize them, they are growing inside. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think we need to come to the place, even us as clergymen of God, I believe, mm. where... Mm. I will not do something because mm. I fear you. Mm. Mm. I know mm. that Reverend mm. Kangwa won't spare mm. me mm. on this one mm. because sometimes we mm. don't fear God. We think he'll yeah. forgive us, I'll, yeah. I'll repent. Yeah. But uh, if you have people who will hold you accountable, mm. then you re relent yeah. somehow. Yeah. So yeah. the issue yeah. of accountability mm. is very key. Mm. But there is the other aspect yeah. now yeah. where people are in marriage, mm. You mentioned this in passing, yeah. where there are illnesses. Yeah. Then that means sexually, yeah. life will not be the same. Mm, 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 mm. How do we handle that? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think that we we need to be very clear about the purpose of the church. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said um, a physician is is not sent to people who are okay. Exactly. You know. Um, uh, Jesus came to a sinful world. Mm -hmm. He died for a sinful world. Uh, and we need to understand that the church is there to help people. Right. You know? And so uh, the restoration process must be very clear mm -hmm. yeah, in a church. Uh, members need to know that if somebody falls, there are people they can run to for help. Yes. And then also uh, the church needs to build a very strong uh, confidentiality system. Mm -hmm. You know, where people know that if I go to talk to a leader and open up about my issue, these things will remain there. They will not be for the public. Mm -hmm. You know, that security is very important. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, similarly, um, uh, if, if, if a couple is going through a situation in the church, they need to have that liberty of running to the pastor or to the leaders to open up, knowing that, you know, they will get help. Right. You know, right, right. Uh, then also uh, we need to also be clear that we are not here to condemn people. Mm. We are not here to judge people. Uh, we are here to help them and to restore them. So the process must be clear. Mm. You know? Then also we need to provide um, uh, an environment in the church where the members know that uh, if the leadership is not condemning or judging anyone, then no member should condemn or judge mm. another person. So that environment is wow. very critical. Wow. You know, if people don't see that, uh, then they will have difficulty coming to open up and mm. to confess. Uh, because when it comes to dealing with uh, sin, there's a place for confessing your sins one to another, you know, and pray for one another that you may be healed. So there's a certain healing element that mm. may be missed uh, if people don't come out to confess and get that help. Mm. So you find that the enemy will hold them and keep them in bondage right, right. Uh, because he knows that uh, they, they can't confess. They, they can't, can't bring it out. They can't. Uh, there is a healing in confession. Exactly, exactly, you know, exactly. Uh, then also, like you said, even among uh, the clergy, uh, there must be certain relationships, you know, uh, where you can go and share your challenges mm -hmm. to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, your difficulties to. Uh, we need to have people that we are accountable to, 
you know. Uh, your wife, I mean, my wife, for example, uh, needs to know that there's somebody she can run to yes. when um, she's having challenges with me. Wow. You wow. Know? And wow. she knows that if that person picks up the phone, I will answer. <laughs> yes. You know? So yes. she needs to know that she has such people in her life. You know? uh, so accountability is very critical. Right there, uh, Reverend. I think um, I would say that the ratings amongst the clergy has really dropped. Mm. Mostly because of the independent mm. ministries yeah. and churches. Mm. Like you said, mm. you and I, mm. there are things that we'll never do yeah. because of the cover that mm. we are under. Mm. 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 Um, I fear my superiors, mm. though I would be tempted once in a while and mm. it looks tempting, mm. but I know mm. once they pick mm. the phone and call, mm. I'm in trouble. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. that keeps me, th this is the accountability we're talking about. A sense of authority. Yeah. But now we have these men of God mm. who don't mm. uh, report to anyone. They are not a So what?
they uh, the the same way that they are listed the scriptures that you yes. read man of yes. God uh, they are listed with many other sins mm. so it's just like one of those sins i love that you know? so the same way that we are going to help somebody uh, mm. who has fallen in a sin of adultery is the same way that we need to help somebody who has fallen in homosexuality exactly uh, the world wants the things to sound trendy you know oh. so so they will not use terms like homosexuality mm. i mean they will use trendy terms mm. to make it acceptable and palatable but that's what it is you know that's what it is so the same way we are helping somebody who has a problem of uh, drunkenness somebody who has a problem of um, stealing is the same way that we need to help another sin person sin is sin, sin is sin yeah. at the same level exactly i love that mm. um I, I, I want to say, I like emphasizing that God hates sin, mm. but he loves the sinner. Amen. Amen. That's important. Yeah. You know, that's important because, again, uh, we need to, you know, the world is hurting. Yes. You know, there are people who are living in sin and they're not enjoying it at all. Uh, but uh, they have to continue because they have uh, people who understand them out there in that context. So churches must be uh, must be we need to create an environment where somebody can run to church mm. and not feel targeted right they are coming right. to church uh, because they want to experience god and uh, so and when they walk in there you know they shouldn't feel everybody's now looking at them who is this guy who, where is he coming from you know so churches must have that environment mm. so people can come in and feel free to open it's up a and hospital. get help it's a hospital it's a hospital you know <laughs> a person who is well does not need a physician no. you know no. but the person who has an ailment needs a physician so jesus came to seek and save the lost he came to help the lost includes the homosexuals everybody yeah the 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 lesbians yes Yes, yeah, yeah. Like you said, yeah. when someone who noticeably can be categor categorized as a homosexual, mm. suddenly the environment in church mm. changes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has a yeah. glance on mm. him. Mm. The look is, what do you want? Exactly. Which is wrong. Yeah, which, which is, is wrong. wrong. Because we all have our own... Uh, uh failings you know we all have our own inadequacies and we are there for help so why should we stop anybody else who's coming to church for help and where jesus is he's mm. saying and he he brought that person mm. into the house of mm. the lord to find mm. help exactly but we are chasing them where are they exactly. going to find help exactly ladies and gentlemen our message again is very clear for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him, including the homosexuals, they need to find a place of healing where we are. Jesus did not come for the righteous. He came for sinners. Yes. And the sinners include the homosexuals. Jesus loves each and every individual. Like the reverend said, the sin of a homosexual is listed amongst many sins, including adultery. Some of us who look uh, at the homose homosexuals with that eye are just coming out of adultery. Mm. So we want to categorize certain sins to be more mm. powerful than mm. the others. It is mm. not so. What we're saying is homosexuals are welcome in the house of the Lord because that's where they can find healing. And we will work because you, you, you still, we haven't chased you from church. We are patient with you. So we will be patient with them as well in order for them to find healing. We are not encouraging it. Like That's why we started by reading those scriptures to state that it is a sin. However, it is just one of the sins that are listed in the Bible. Wherever you are, if you are in a, a practicing the homosexual, whatever, and, and so on, we are not bringing a word of condemnation. We are saying Jesus loves you. And he died for you. He is not asking you to stop before you come to him. He's saying, come to me. And I will cleanse you. He's the one who is going to fix your life. You cannot fix it your, uh, on your own. He loves you. He died for you. He loves you the way you are. 
and he will show you the ways of God. Reverend Kangwa, thank you very much for being with us. Any final concluding remarks that you want to give to the people? Uh, thank you once again for the invitation. Um, you know, to, just to say it's really been exciting, uh, but also to say that um, you know uh, every good gift, you know, comes every good and perfect gift comes from God. Amen. Uh, there are things God designated uh, specifically in the context of marriage, and as long as you keep it in the context of marriage, you know, you will have the best mm. of it. Mm. Um, uh, and also to just say that uh, you know we all need help yes. and help is available Amen. you know help is available at the church nearest you mm. and uh, uh, we'll be happy to be of help Amen that's Reverend uh, Kangwa uh, Kangwa Mumba of, uh, from Bread of Life here in uh, Kitwe Central uh, like we said he is um, currently the resident pastor in our context we may say a senior pastor. Uh, he's also the regional overseer for the Copper Belt North, uh, overseeing 15 churches. Man of God, thank you very much for coming and thank you for the insights that you've brought to us. May God bless you and God bless your church and your family. Amen. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you to all our viewers for joining our broadcast today. We say God bless you until we see you next week at the same time. Bye-bye for now.